Hi, we? Yes, we, all of us here. I, <laughs> alone, am here at Silver Fork Lodge and restaurant. I have heard a couple reports that this hotel is haunted, so I'm here with my ghost equipment, I have more than just this, with my ghost equipment to see if it is or not. There is not a lot of reports. Um, basically all I can find on the web is that people see um, lights being turned off and on and appliances, um, moving objects around. So I have my laptop like right behind you so I'm like reading it. Um, there has also been apparitions and cold spots and then also moans and whispers. Um, this is kind of like an old place. I'm pretty sure it started out for like an area for miners, for miners, like miners. I don't know what action that was, but it's old. So flickering lights, I can kind of excuse it as a, just an old spot. Uh, moans and whispers it's a hotel like you're gonna hear other people so what I'm looking for I guess is apparitions and maybe some appliances turning on or off or moving objects something moving the schedule is gonna be like this before going to bed um, I'm gonna pull out my Ouija board try to do some of that not a lot of it I try not to overdo a Ouija even though <laughs> my whole last video was Ouija and then I'm gonna try to sleep. I don't know if I can sleep. There's a mirror like right there facing the bed. And that is a huge, huge no-no. And like, that, I don't know, that's just a huge no-no. Like you do not put mirrors in front of where you're sleeping. Um, I mean, I guess it is kind of a small room. So there's like not a lot of options of where to put I mean, I have a mirror right here and that's fine. Yeah, you can see that mirror. That mirror is fine. And they could have just did that. Or like on this wall facing the other mirror. No, because that would be a portal. I don't know. They just, they could have stuck with that, that mirror. I don't know why this is bugging me so much, but it is. Um, anyways, where was I? I w I'm going to try to sleep and then... I'm gonna come back at 3 a.m. and we're gonna do like a full-on investigation in here with this which is my new thing I haven't really used it yet um, I'll teach you how it's used when we come to that and then probably try to go to sleep after that <laughs> A really squeaky door. Oh, that mirror. Oh, no. No. Oh. At first, I kind of looked like my mom. Okay. Well, that's like. Ooh, bumped into the chair. Nice painting, though. Jeez. Wow. Look there. Wow. Okay. Whoa. This bathroom is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> Jeez. Is there a light for back here? <laughs> Am I blind? Where's the light? Okay, what if that was the other... Oh! Oh, okay. We have lights. <laughs> oh, towels. Look at these paintings. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, this would be like really cute to come here with, you know, with someone. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. Do not put anything on heaters. Okay. Oh, that's cute. They got a little patio right there. Ugh. Okay. Um, mirrors should never face where you're sleeping. Jeez, okay, I can kind of tell why this place is haunted. <laughs> or has, you know, is um, apparently haunted. Which I'm going to get into now. Look at this though. That's so cool. Right, just to give you guys a better idea of outside, <laughs> we are in the mountains, and like, okay, so this window, oh, yeah, the one at the, like the one at the stand, where you just lift it up, and you know, you put, peek your head out, and someone can kill you. Okay. So yeah, this is us. You got like a cute little patio right here. And then I think like houses and stuff back there. Right there. And like the parking lot is right there. So I'm just looking around the room. Like in all the drawers and everything because, I mean, curiosity. Um, <laughs> I look under the bed. And there's just this of wood under here it's just there's just a piece of wood there's like two fans in here and I'm pretty sure there's another fan in the bathroom um, a lot of fans but like why why? Why? So it is now some time after eight. This is not a watch. Um, it is completely dark outside. And I've been watching, I took a shower and I've been watching that 70s show because like after I took a shower I came out here and I'm like, hmm. I felt like really uneasy. So I needed a show that would um, make me laugh and feel better. And when I noticed it was dark outside, I'm like, Ugh. now I've got to do the Ouija board. And I just felt even more uneasy, but I'm here, I'm doing it. It's the whole reason I came to this hotel. We're going to do a bit of Ouija. <laughs> Usually this stuff excites me and I love it. But like doing it alone is like a totally another level. You can hear so many people. So many sounds. This fucking hate it. Everything is so loud. Is there anyone here? Do you not want to talk? Nothing. I don't have to ask after, like, who is anyone there? Like, if I don't get an answer to that, what do I hear? I'll 
Let's ask again. Is anyone there? It's just so loud. You can hear like every noise. People are gonna be up at like 3 a.m. and hear me talking to ghosts. Or not ghosts. If there's no ghosts here. That's what I'm here to find out. If there's any ghosts here. Can you prove it to me? But it's kind of moving, but I'm pretty sure that's like me because I'm shaking right now. Like I can always tell when it's me or not when playing by myself. It just like, it feels like someone else's fingers are on there and they're pulling it. If it just like moves like a little bit, I'm like, oh, no, no, that was me. That's why I like my goodness hair. Um, I like doing Ouija alone because I can like, Tell that difference. I just like what in my. I can tell the difference. Nothing's happening. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything. Um, if you want to contact me in any other way. You can. Okay, I'll ask one more time. Is anyone here? The light just flickered. see you guys at 3 a.m. Hopefully I can get some sleep. So it's like just a couple minutes before 3. I like barely slept. If I did at all, I don't remember if I did. Probably. I don't know. So we're gonna start out with this. This is a EMF detector or electromagnetic field detector. As you can tell, it detects electromagnetic fields. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around the whole room and see if there's any spots that are that come up. And if there are spots, then I'm gonna get out another more equipment, another equipment, I don't know, and place it in that um, really high spot and then and then I'll get out the uh, spirit box turn it on okay it's on we'll start at the door Excuse the bed, I was sleeping in it. Nothing. Okay, so let's try this mirror. Nothing. I was kind of expecting something at that mirror. Should we check under the bed? 
Yeah, that's smart. Okay, let's do that. What is that weird wood piece? Is that just because of my phone? I'm going to say that's just because of my phone. <laughs> Haunted toilet? No. Okay. Back to trash can? No. Okay. Haunted toilet paper? No. Okay. Okay. Well, that's like the whole room and that, nothing came up. So, let's just move on to the next step. I set up a little flashlight, just a twist one, right here. It's no. And then I got the REM pot out. So that this does, uh, I don't know what it stands for, I should probably look that up, but what it does is it detects if someone like moves over you, it detects movement and it goes off the light and the sound and I'm really nervous it's turned on because it's really loud. Pray for me. Set it down. <laughs> Front of the door. I hate this thing. I keep turning up the volume. And it doesn't go up. I mean, I know I haven't gone a lot of sleep, but I just felt like all my energy was gone. Okay. Yes. Is everyone here? I'm on AM. A lot more words coming out. I can't like look at anything. Hey. Oh, I just got like a little bit loud of hay on here and the lights flickered. These things haven't gone off yet. Okay, I'm moving the REM pod over to the bathroom door. Okay. Over there. The flashlight is still right there. Should we try the Ouija board again? Kinda 
I want to try it again. And then I'll try the spirit box after, again after that. And if I still don't get anything, I might be saying that it's not haunted by the morning. I heard a lot of like, while I was trying to sleep, I heard a lot of like clicks everywhere, especially in the heater. Um, it's pretty much the worst of it that I've had so far. For some reason, I feel like doing this facing a mirror is like a huge no-no. But I haven't actually heard anything specific to that. So we're just gonna do it. Okay, I barely have the phone sitting on the windowsill. So it doesn't fall. You know, I can never get a good angle with the camera and the little keyboard. like just proves that like whenever I investigated in the past that those places were like actually haunted because I'm bringing nothing here this bed is so squishy I couldn't imagine coming here with someone in like Chandusa. Uh uh. So we're gonna try spirit box again. Okay. The volume is working this time. Oof. Okay, so that silence was loud. I've gotten nothing to work. Well, I still have a few hours. Hopefully I can get um, more sleep. And you know, if anything happens, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I will see you in the morning and I will give my definitive answer if this place is haunted or not which I think you guys can guess where I'm leaning towards right now <laughs> so but we'll see I still have quite a few hours here It's morning. As I said, it's morning. Um, 8.30 to be exact. Uh, breakfast starts now. I am going to get dressed, go get breakfast, come back, pack up, and leave. I'm so tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Mainly because I don't know, the bed's not packed. 
comfy and you know mirror right there and you could hear every little sound nothing happened all i heard was creaks everywhere and that's that so i basically <laughs> i'm going with not haunted um it is a disappointment but you know what i came i saw i conquered in a way, I guess. Oh well. Now I know that like other places that I've been to, like my house, other houses I've been to, and the Stanley, and those, you know, all those other places that I've been investigating to. Um, now I know that there's actually something at those places because we actually got stuff here. There's, I've literally got nothing. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, just let me know. Comment down your thoughts. Also comment down other places I should visit to see if they're haunted or not. Or, you know, a place that actually is known to be haunted and I can just go and investigate there, get the answers. Let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye. So just an update on, on me. <laughs> it is past 10. My driver should have already come and picked me up and headed home by now. Uh, but I was like looking at the, the app I'm using for the past like 20 minutes and no driver they can't find any drivers someone like I scheduled this ahead of time and someone had accepted it but like they're not here <laughs> and I can't find any other driver so I called my mom <laughs> she's coming to pick me up This experience has not been the best. <sighs> Pray for me. Subscribe. <laughs>